Hey, I'm Laura, I love Lindy Hop, and today we're going to talk about swivels. Opinion, are one of the sexiest things a human being can do with their body. The hop is all about the butt, the butt, the butt, the butt, the butt. There are a million different ways of doing it, but I'm going to show you the way that I know, and then you can take those lessons and you can figure out how it works on your body. Start with that classic Lindy Hop posture. Hips are back, knees are bent. You're going to bounce on every single beat, and your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. Let's just step. I've waited long enough, my sweet, for just three now hours. Now let's just you. twist. Well, what's your name? I could never guess it. What's your name? Wouldn't you confess it? What a shame. We have never met before. Well, don't you see? Let's talk about it. If I'm facing you, notice my knees stay bent. And I'm not straightening one leg, and I'm not pushing my body from side to side, but I'm keeping it in the middle. I'm also keeping my trunk a bit more stable, so that way my hips can just around it. Bam, like a tornado. Some people think of it as a pepper grinder. So let's try it out. Okay. Now's the time you should have a name like mine. stop the song in the middle and that sucks but we got to move on a tricky thing about swivels is sometimes they mess up your partner work because they're tricky so we're going to do the same swivels but in a slightly different shape to work on that three four area of the swing out so first our shape without music what we're going to do is we're going to cross in front on that three and four with our right foot which is that moment where we'd be getting past our leader yes so all together i'm going to do it sideways it's gonna look like one, two, three, and four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, seven, eight. One, two, cross and front. One, two, cross and front. Feel free to repeat that a couple times before going on to the next section with music, which is now. Remember to keep that Lindy Hop posture, hips back, knees, bounce on every beat. Don't think me French or indiscreet when I go. say how to do. I've waited long enough, my sweet, for just three words with you. Well, what's your name? I could never guess it. What's your name? Wouldn't you confess it? What a shame. We have never met before. Sweet and free, who could ever ask for more? Where were you all this time? From now on, please be mine. I don't care where you've been. Open your heart and let me in. Well, what's your name? Now let's check out swivels with some kind of tactile feeling in the hand. Come with me to our friendly neighborhood doorknob. Here we are at the friendly neighborhood door. Now, if this is the leader's hand, it's a little bit low, but if you have a much higher door handle, feel free to use that as well, or anything stable. Basically, what I want to be able to do is the amount of pressure I feel in my hand, I want to keep consistent, even though I'm twisting. So, for example, I'm not pulling on my lead or popping out of my lead. So just think about getting a nice moderate amount of pressure and just twist 
in that posture while you bounce on every beat. You can practice if your leader's asking for a lot of counterbalance, which is super fun. If your leader is asking for nothing, that's also super fun. But see if you can feel that this weight is consistent. Something else I try to do is I try to keep a little bit of my arm for me. So that way when I twist, my elbow can help make up that difference. I know you can't see it super well from that angle, but we don't have a doorknob on this side. So instead of letting it all the way out, keep a little bit for yourself, find that weight, and just keep it exactly there. Bang, got it. So where do you put in swivels? I feel like it's whenever you feel like you're being stopped over the course of a triple step. So that's not necessarily a swing out. It could be a lot of different six count passes and things like that. Just look for that feeling. Also, sometimes swing outs end in a rock step. And whenever I feel like I have a rock step, I don't feel supported enough to do a swivel. So chances are I'll do a rock step or some complementary variation. Now let's see what swivels look like with a lead. Hey everybody, this is Brooks. Hi everybody. <laughs> Alright. Don't think me like. French or indiscreet when I say how you do. I've waited long enough, my sweet, for yeah. just three yeah. words yeah. with you. Yeah. But what's your name? I could never guess it. What's your name? Wouldn't you confess it? What a shame We have never met before But don't you see Everything's in order Stick with me Mama's little daughter Sweet and free Who could ever ask for more? Where were you All this time From now on Please be mine I don't care where you've been Open your heart and let me in Well, what's your name? Don't you want to tell it? What's your name? Tell me how to spell it Now's the time You should have a name like mine Oh, baby, please begin Tell me what's your name? backs up, I feel that stretch and so I know that I have the support to swivel. When he doesn't back up, I have room to rock step, so I just let my momentum continue backwards for that rock step. Even if the rock step is really, really small, it still has a different feeling than that stretchiness that creates a swivel. If this is different for you, don't worry about it. I'm pregnant, things are not where they used to be. But just have faith in your body, keep on dancing mindfully, and your body will figure it out. Thanks for taking the time to learn to dance with me. I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Check out my Patreon page. And as usual, the best way to learn how to dance is to dance.